Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about what happens inside each round in SHA 512. In our previous classes, we already discussed some of the concepts about SHA 512. Please watch those classes and come back here. This is a continuation class. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, we have mentioned that in our last class, the compression function is going to take inputs A0, B0, C0, D0, E0, F0, G0 and H0 and they are sent into round 0. Round 0 is going to generate next outputs A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, G1, H1 for round 1. How it is going to generate what happens inside round each round, let's try to understand. This A is given as input to the next round for B. In A is directly sent as input to next round that is placed here at B. Similarly, B is sent directly to C, C is sent directly to D, E is sent directly to F, F is sent directly to G, G is sent directly to H. This is how the next round inputs come from. But in place of A, we have to place X, in place of E, we have to place Y. So now we need to identify how x and y values are calculated. So in order to calculate this x and y values, x is calculated like this and y is calculated like this. What's this? Let's try to understand. Take this a, b, c values are sent into a majority of a, b, c function. What is this majority function? Let's try to understand at the end for now it is sent into a function called majority function and it is giving you an output. A is 64 bit, B is 64 bit, C is 64 bit. It is going to generate an output of 64 bit. Similarly, A is sent as say, sent into the next function, rotate of function, rotate of A. It is going to generate 64 bits. These two 64 bits again it is going to get a addition means addition modulo 2 power 64 that is what happens here and the output which we got here this is again it is going to take one more input from y from the y side this function side again these two values are going to get addition modulo 2 power 64 and the final output which we got here we call it as x value in order to find x, this is what happens inside the rotation. Similarly, if you want to find the y value, we have to take e of g values are sent into a conditional function, conditional of e of g. What's this function? We'll understand at the end and it is going to send into a rotate function. E is going to be sent into a rotate function. These two are going to generate 64 bits, 64 bits and not only these two outputs, H value means the last one H value is going to take as input and WI, KI, these are double, WI is, W0 is 64 bits, K0 is 64 bits. These five inputs are going to be added. Each one is 64 bits. That's why all, all are added. This is addition modulo 2 power 64. And whatever the output you got here, this is sent to x and not only this, this output is taken as input to the next one. Along with this input d, the d value from here, it is also taken as input and these two values are going to be again added, addition modulo 2 power 64 and the final output which we got here is y value. This is how we are going to find x and y values. Now let's try to understand what is majority, conditional and rotate values. Majority of x, y, z is given as x is 64 bit, y is 64 bit, z is 64 bit, x and y means bitwise and operation, xr, y and z means bitwise and operation, xr, z and x. This is what majority function means. Similarly, the conditional function of conditional of x, y, z is x and y bitwise xr operation, bit, bitwise and operation xr, not x and z, not x means negation of x, complement of x and, and means bitwise and operation z value. 
And the final one, rotate of x means uh, if you want to take rotate of a, rotate of e, how these functions work is rotate of x means uh, x is 64 bit, uh, it is rotated 28 right rotation, circular right rotation 28 bits xr, circular right rotation 34 bits of x, uh, here x means you can take a or e whatever, wherever you are going to use, we take that x value. 34 bits right rotation, circular right rotation and XR with circular right rotation 39 bits, all these values are XR. The final output which we got from after X, uh, doing exclusive R, which we take it as output here. So this is what uh, happens inside each rotation. Again, this round one is going to do again the same thing and it is sent into the output as round 2. Like that how many rounds happen? 80 rounds are there. In each round this is the function which we are going to do. Hope you understand what happens inside each round in SHA 512. If you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.